Okay. All right, it's Tuesday, August 14th, 2018. This is take two. <laughs> Logged into the wrong account and gave the wrong, uh, yeah, exactly. Thank you, Lindsay. Logged into the wrong account and started doing a great call. And Alexis and Jan can attest to that. All right, so my name is Calvin Starr. I'm the founder of Living to Be, and uh, I operate as the COO. And we're going over, there's Jan. Um, we're going over, let's see here. We're going over Eric Worre's book, which is GoPro, Seven Steps to Become a Network Marketing Professional. We're actually on chapter nine, which is step number six in his seven-step process. And chapter six, or skill six, is helping your new distributor get started right. And for me, this was a, a big one, which is what I was telling the story before. Um, this is so key because when I first got involved in network marketing, um, I was a recruiter. And I'm going to tell you the difference between a recruiter and a sponsor. A recruiter is somebody who just wants to put you in the business and they're done with you and they kind of move on. Uh, and a sponsor is somebody who puts you in the business, but then they take care of you and they support you and guide you through the process. What Eric's talking about here is being a, a sponsor. What I did for a while, because in the, the company that I first hit my you know, $100,000 a month check, I was a recruiter for the first probably almost six months to a year <clears throat> because I personally sponsored more than 1,500 people into that business and I was hardly making any money at it because I would get people in, they'd get through, and then boom, they would fall off on the other side because there was nobody there to support them. I was out busy recruiting with other people. And I learned the key lesson for me was is when the top money earner had only sponsored 19 people and was making you know uh, onwards, upwards of four or $500,000 a month. And so the light bulb went off and I was like, oh, there must be something to it. It must be not, not be about the number of people that you sponsor. It must be how you sponsor them. So, and this is really why this chapter is probably one of the most important ones because two reasons. Number one, um, these people have invested in you and they want to, you know, they want to recoup their investment. They want to be able to learn the business. That's why they signed up. Most people aren't signing up as an affiliate just to try the product out. Um, you know, so most people are getting into it because they want the opportunity. They believe that it's something that they're going to be able to share with other people and make money at. But in order to do that, you've got to be properly trained. When you go into any business, any job, you know, you're going to get trained for several weeks sometimes, sometimes even longer than that. And that's because it takes time to be able to develop the skills necessary to perform the job. And so that's why this chapter is so important because you're helping people become sponsored by you into the business to be able to create and succeed in the business itself. Uh, the second part of that is, is that you've spent all of this time and energy into working with somebody. Why would you just end it right there? So the relationship doesn't, it doesn't end when you recruit somebody into the business or you sponsor somebody into the business. It actually begins from there. And that's where the real work begins to happen. So. It's a five-step process, um, and the five-step process is based upon this one idea that he talks about his sponsor, Michael, um, back when Eric was a, an affiliate. You know, He talks about how his sponsor had this game plan interview with the person that he sponsored. So you've got him enrolled, you got him excited, you got him all involved, and now you're going to set up a game plan interview, okay? And this is one of the places where the affiliate kit comes in really handy because that affiliate kit that we've put together that's in printed format that you get with your really cool leather binder so you can appear professional and walk in and do something is a really great uh, masterpiece of getting started in the business. So, and it's great for the game plan. It's great for that interview process because you can be working with somebody using that, that uh, affiliate kit and walking through and helping understand exactly what you need to do and what they need to do. But he has a lot of great pieces to this. And so, again, when you, when you listen to stuff like this, especially with uh, this process, this five-step process, you got to look at the psychological part of it as well. Because the number one reason people fail is because they don't stand strong. Um, they don't have the right posture. They don't have the confidence. They don't have the self-worth. All of these things because the fact of it is, is they're inexperienced. If you look at anything that you did back in the day when you first got started, maybe when the first day that you waitressed, it was probably a little bit nerve wracking because you're like, oh my gosh, how many tables? You want me to take care of one table or two tables? It's like, I, I don't know if I can do two, right? It becomes overwhelming because you realize you've got all of these different things. And then, you know, when Aaron and I went out to breakfast the other day, it's like the waitress came up and, you know, you could tell she'd been, you know, obviously waitressing for a while. And she was like, okay, I'll take your order. And we had, 
we had one, two, we had seven or eight people at the table and she didn't write one thing down. She just said, tell me orders, go. And she just, blew, I mean, and people are going, okay, I want this to hold this, hold this. Da, da. And she got everything right. Now, if that was her first day, it was probably not going to be like that. But because of her experience and her training and everything that she went through, you know, she was able to accomplish some pretty extraordinary feat. Okay. So the game plan interview is part one is this. Okay. Part one is that he said he validated their decision to become an affiliate. Okay. And like I was mentioning before, you can be an affiliate, a distributor, an independent contractor, uh, an ambassador, an associate, a uh, brand partner, whatever it is. Okay. P companies come up with all sorts of names because they think, oh, distributor has a negative thing. Oh, this has a negative thing. Well, you know, everything has a negative thing if you want to find the negativity in it. So, you know, I'm going to basically say affiliate or distributor. They're both the one and the same. Okay. So he validated their decision to becoming an affiliate. He said things like, congratulations on making the decision. I'm proud of you for taking charge of your life. From now on, things are going to be different for you and your family. So he's validating this decision because, again, remember, they're, they're going against the norm, okay? They're going against everything if, they're, if it's their first time. If, if, if it, they've been in network marketing before and they're saying, yeah, let's get involved, well, then they're, they're still willing to put their time, energy, and money into something, and so they should be validated and congratulated for that for taking responsibility for their lives. So, and he said it always took like less than five minutes to be able to do that, and that was step one. Step two is he said he set their expectations, okay? And this is where I see a lot of people that are really new or just uncomfortable or not sure, or maybe they're recruiting up, and they end up talking themselves out of setting somebody else's expectations. But he set their expectations, okay? He knew most people came into uh, their business with unrealistic expectations. So he always said the same three things. Okay. He always said the same three things. Number one, if you succeed in this business, it's going to be you who creates that success, not me. Okay. So you're putting it on them. Listen, if you're going to be successful, it's going to be about what you create. Okay. He says, if you fail, number two is if you fail in this business, it's going to be you who creates that failure, not me. Okay. So whether you succeed or fail, this is about you. That's basically the bottom line for that. And then the third thing he says, you are the, going to be the difference between success or failure. I'm here to guide you every step of the way, but I can't do it for you. I'm here to work with you, but not for you. And I know so many people that get involved in network marketing and they take on so much because they're they want to like, you know, make people not have to work for it or they don't want people to be inconvenienced. And I'm thinking you're going to inconvenience yourself so that somebody else doesn't have to be inconvenienced for something that they're going to appreciate later on. And so, you know, don't set yourself up to be customer service. We've got customer service. Don't set yourself up to be somebody's assistant, right? That's not your job. Your job is to guide them. They need to have the motivation, the drive, and, the, and make the decisions to move forward rather than you having to keep pushing and pushing and pushing, okay? It's much easier when people are doing what they need to do instead of you always having to push. If you're always having to push, you're going to get exhausted. You're going to wear out. You're going to burn out. You know, a lot of people call it burnout. And you're going to, that's going to happen to you because if you can't do it with one person, how do you think you're going to do it with 100 or 200 or 1,000 people on your team? You can't push all those people. You've got to create self-motivated individuals that want to create success for themselves. So he said the next thing he would say is, my job is to help you become independent from me as quickly as possible. Do you agree that's a good idea? So his number one goal is say, I need to make you independent of me. Do you agree that that's, that's a good idea or that's a good goal? Because again, if somebody believes that they have to be dependent on you, then you're setting them up for failure because the moment that you're not there for them, they're not going to believe in themselves enough to be able to do the job. And that works in a lot of different areas, okay? So you never want to set people up. Say, hey, listen, I'm going to be here for you. There are going to be times where I can't be here for you. But you know what? My goal is to make you as independent as possible. And I know that the best way for you to become independent is to do the work and do the things that you need to do and make the mistakes that you need to make. That's pretty much bottom line for what you need to be able to do with people. Um, another thing he said, there will certainly be ups and downs. And, and this for me is one of those uh, uh, really important things for affiliates and distributors is because every person that I've ever worked with 
every person that I've ever seen succeed, every single one of us has had ups and downs in network marketing. You have your highs and you have your lows. It's one day I love network marketing, the next day I hate this business. So he goes, there will certainly be ups and downs as you build your business. There will be good times and bad times. I'll know you're in one of those bad times when you aren't calling me, you aren't showing up for meetings, you aren't on the calls. And if I start hearing excuses, you know, that sort of thing. So when that happens with you and it happens with everyone, how do you want me to handle this? Again, you're not, you're not being that drill sergeant for somebody. You're saying basically, hey, I'm your friend. And when I see you down in the dumps or hitting the muck or whatever it is or falling off the bandwagon, how would you like me to, to handle this? How would you like me to deal with you about this? He goes, do you want me to leave you alone or do you want me to be persistent and remind you why you made the decisions in the first place? Nobody is going to look at you and go, no, let me be a loser. Thank you. Have a nice day. If I don't call you, don't worry about me. They're going to say, no, remind me, remind me. And that, that gives you permission. And again, this is why the affiliate kit's so important. We put so much time and energy into this to make sure that it was something that you could use. And you should be going through your affiliate kit with the people that you sponsor. Again, your job is just starting when you sponsor somebody into the business. It doesn't stop when you get them in. It starts when you get them in because now you're going to start building a relationship even deeper. You're going to be able to find out what they want, what their drive is, what, their, you know, what they want to create success in their lives. So all of these things start to happen. So be able to do that by really taking the time and spending it. Because here's the thing, and this is the, this is the trap so many people get caught up in. They think, oh, I don't want to spend all that time with that person. What if they don't work out? Well, I can pretty much guarantee you that if you don't spend the time with somebody, it's not going to work out. They're going to fall off. Unless you just find a bunch of superstars that are self-motivated, self-starters, and have built businesses before, then great. Maybe you can let them be and they'll figure it out. But nine times out of 10, you need to support them and you need to spend that time with them to get them invested into the idea of creating a business, the idea of creating success, and the idea of being you know, successful in a lot of different areas. And so work with them and go through that affiliate kit with them. Even if it takes you an hour for each sponsored person, you, know, you shouldn't be sponsoring hundreds of people, right? Sponsor one, it's, I think you know, for the gold rush, it's one a week. You know, that's one hour a week that you work with somebody and you, you kind of work with them through the affiliate kit and start, you know, really helping them understand what it means to set goals and dream a little bit and talk about some things and kind of work on some skill sets. That's key. Okay. So then the step three of the game plan interview is that he said he goes what they call the checklist. And again, this is why the affiliate kit is so important with living to be. So we've got all of that information in there. We've got a checklist. We've got everything down. We've got, you know, the, um, the, the memory jogger. We've got all of these little tools to be able to help stimulate ideas and get people into that creative flow so that they're excited about building the business. So in this step three, he says there's, let me see here, one, two, three, four, five, five pieces to this. Okay, five pieces to this. Number one. Make sure your new distributor is set up with the appropriate products, which is one of the reasons why we tell people when they come in, come into the business, get a game changer, get a, get a, a momentum pack, something with a lot of product. Cause if you're going to be out doing meetings and having home parties and doing things like that, then you want to make sure you have product on hand because when people make that decision to purchase the product, you want to be able to hand them the product so that they can have it immediately. And then also, too, we've got those little travel bottles, which are really great because it's perfect so that if somebody's at your meeting and they order a, a, a package, then you can say, here's a seven-day supply. This will get you to when your product shows up. And that will give them something to hold on to because the last thing you want people to do, which we've all experienced, is buyer's remorse. You don't want people to sit there and go, I bought this, and then the next day call you up and go, hey, I don't really know if I want to do that or not. You want to give them the product so they feel like they've gotten something out of it. Um, number two is make sure your new distributor is set up with appropriate tools. Now, again, you spend an hour with them on the, on the phone or in person doing affiliate kits. Maybe you have a little home party with affiliate kits and everybody gets to sign, go through them and sign up. Other people can share some of their thoughts and ideas. You can create accountability groups by sharing people's goals and whatnot. But the next step is, is to take them through the back office letting them see all the different resources, all the different marketing pieces. Like we're working on the, um, um, the skincare, right? And so each one of our skincare 
looks like this. You know, it's kind of like it's got this information on the front and then this information on the back. Um, you know, we've got all the, all the, I've got eight products here, but we're working on all these really great flyers to be able to show people like, here's the product, here's the information, here's how it works, here's the ingredients, here's the directions, and here's the benefits. And I mean, this, this right here alone is the tools necessary to be able to start, you know, working. And we're not putting these up right now because as you can probably see there's, it's still got Adobe stock because they're not in the final stages yet. But we've got all of these amazing items to be able to show people and, and let them see so that they can use it to work with people and to build their business. And then, of course, we've got the compensation plan video. We've got all these different tools and resources, but most people don't know about them because they're not showed them, right? It doesn't matter how many emails we send out as a company. It should be your responsibility to make sure that each person that you personally sponsor into this business has gone through the back office with you, seen the resources, seen everything that they're looking at, and then also watch the videos and everything else. And like the YouTube website and the Facebook fan page, all the different places that we post information or the affiliate, you know, living to be affiliate fan page. So all of those things, those are all tools that people need to know about. And like I said, it doesn't matter how many emails we send out. You need to make that contact and support your people that you bring into the business. Number three, make sure your new distributor gets connected. Again, kind of falls into what I was just saying. Getting them connected to the YouTube page, the, the Living to Be fan page, the Living to Be affiliate fan page. Um, connect them with us. In the, in the, again, in the affiliate kit, there's a space in there that says, who's your upline? And you can have them fill it out. Oh, you know what? You need Lindsay's contact information. Here's her phone number. Here's her email address. Reach out to her if you can't get in touch with me. You know, and really make sure that you do that so that people feel like, okay, I don't have to rely on just this one person. I can work with a, numerous, uh, a number of people, right? So number four, make sure your new distributor has a basic understanding of the compensation plan. We put together a really fantastic nine-minute visual auditory explanation of the compensation plan. And it goes into detail about everything. We've got a beautiful compensation plan document for people to be able to go through. And if somebody's willing to go through both of those, the video and the document, and they still have questions, put them on a three with me. I mean, more than happy to kind of answer their questions and help them understand. I mean, I always tell people straight up, I've been in this industry for 20 years and compensation plans are just, they make your eyes glaze over. It doesn't matter how great you are it's almost like a foreign language with calculations and formulas in there that just cause you to go, I don't know what the hell's going on here. I just know it works, right? So number five, make sure your new distributor has a fundamental understanding of how to properly invite their prospects to understand more about what they have to offer. And that kind of goes back into, good night, Benji, or that Sam. Um, but, oh, okay. <laughs> good. <laughs> but. Um, you know, really that goes back to some of the additional earlier chapters that we've covered to be able to go into that and let them, um, you know, see how to do the eight step invitation process because there is a process to it. So again, this is all your role. This is how you get people started. You get people to watch these videos because these trainings that we're doing right now are on YouTube. So people can go back and watch. They don't have to always attend the live ones. You know, I was, I really, there was a lot of times I struggled with that because you know, everybody gets excited when there's a lot of people on the calls and whatnot. And I go, you know what? I understand a lot of us have lives and a lot of us have different things that we've got scheduled. We've got kids. We're on the East Coast and West Coast. And, you know, even though it's 944 now, it's only 644 in, on the West Coast. And so you've got people having dinner. I'm not that person that goes, no, nope, if you're not going to be there on time, then you don't get to participate. You know what? We put everything online. And so we watch and we just put the information out. We don't care if you show up to these calls. We want you to get the information. And we understand that a lot of you can't get it until you have time to be able to get to it at your own schedule. So, you know, that's your job to be able to show people, hey, listen, if you can't make the calls, don't fret, right? This is why we, we did the, uh, the conference calls with the sizzle call lines so that you can schedule your time the way that you need to and you can work it around other people's time when they need to. So you've got all of these different tools to be able to do that. And now you have to share that with your affiliates. Okay. Now the game plan interview part four. All right. Step four. Um, he said that he would help new distributor create a game plan to get through their first few ranks and challenge them to do it quickly. Okay. 
So what I love about our compensation plan is that's why we put the VIP maker bonus in there. The VIP maker bonus is very simple. It's when somebody comes into the business and they personally sponsor somebody, uh, they sponsor two people into the business. They can be a, a preferred customer or they can be an affiliate. When you help one person that you personally sponsored find their first two people, you get a VIP maker bonus because you help them go VIP. VIP stands for very inspired person, meaning that they were inspired to do something and they took action on it. And so because of that, you get rewarded, right? And you get a, between a 10 and a $40 bonus just for helping those people get enrolled. So, you know, that's one ways. And we always encourage people to do that within 48 hours. There's not one person on this planet that doesn't have a cell phone, that doesn't have a group of people in their cell phone that they couldn't call up right now and say, hey, listen, I've got this really great uh, product and opportunity. Get involved with me. Let's go see what we can do with it. You don't have to put any big expectation. You can say, hey, let's go do this together and see what we can do with it. Let's have some fun. Let's try it out. And let's see how we can make this work. And you can find at least, at least two people in your phone today that would be able to do that. And I've told stories about this with other companies where you know, I've gotten, uh, gotten with people that have been being able to go like at a, you know, a huge rank, like five or six ranks within a five hour period. Cause they just got on the phone. They just called everybody they knew and said, Hey, listen, I've got this business opportunity. I really want to get you involved. I want you to just order some and try the product out and we can talk more about it later. And people sign up because that's what people do. Friends do what people, what friends do, what friends do. And so when you're getting involved, people are likely to get involved with you, especially if you're excited about it and you're really passionate about what you're doing. So, you know, have that, that interview por portion of it says, okay, what do we need to do to get you to the next step? And I would encourage you that if you're spending the time with them right now, say, hey, let's call a couple of people that you know, and let's get them on the phone and let's talk to them about getting involved in the business and trying out some of the products and seeing how it works, you know, and just going for it. Because you never know. Like I said, people are really excited to be able to work with people that are really excited. All right. So then the last part, the step five of the game plan interview is giving some specific assignment to the people that you've sponsored. Okay. The purpose of all this is to help the new distributor get over the line. When someone gets started, there's always a line between success and failure. So what you're doing by giving them an assignment is to help them over that line of success, helping them cross that line of success and not, and not hitting that failure. So on the one side of the line is it's easier to quit than to continue. On the other side of the line, it's easier to continue than quit. So your whole point is that what can, and he talks about this, he goes, what can help a person get over the line? Number one, signing up their first customer. Number two, signing up their first uh, distributor. Right there, somebody would become a VIP. If they got one customer and one uh, uh, affiliate, they would become a VIP. Um, getting their first commission check. That was back in the old days, and I still believe it today, but it was something that was just ingrained in all of our minds, is that everybody that you sponsored, you, you first thing you had to do is get them their first check. Help them do whatever they needed to do to get their first check. And I've seen some first checks, and they're thousands of dollars. You know, and, and that's exciting. And that's because of the way our bonus structure is set up because it's like all that first order bonus and then it just kind of builds from there. So that, that kind of idea and having people work a business for a solid month and they end up creating an extra two or $3,000, that's cool. You know, that's exciting for people because that means that they paid for their product and they've made an extra two grand if they bought the game changer. So it's all about just putting that energy out there and putting that uh, effort out there. So getting their first commission check is huge. Number four, attending a big company event. Number five, making friends inside the organization. I mean, so many of us become friends with friends of friends of friends of friends, and then we create, we create these amazing relationships with people because we're all like-minded, we all love what we do, we're all passionate about it, and so we get along really easily. It's just like anything else, you know? That's why we have clubs and things that people go to because people wanna be friends with people that are into the same things that they are. Um, the other one is getting promoted to a new level. And this is really cool because like I said, the first time that somebody enrolls a preferred customer and an affiliate or two preferred customers or two affiliates, they become the first rank, which is VIP. And that's cool because it's a really easy step to do and you could do it literally within 24 hours. And, and next thing you know, they're on a roll. And if those two people, if those two people that they enroll, get those two people, it just begins to build after that. And next thing you know, you've got a, a full on stage business that's going crazy. Um, and then 
and this is why I love, you know, people that do team calls for their teams is because the, the last one is, is being recognized for some sort of achievement. You know, if they put in the effort, if they sponsored some people, it's giving them that recognition and letting them know, hey, you know what, great job on, on what you did this week. I'm really proud of you. really excited for what you did. And to be able to create that success is hugely important. Okay. So that's the, the skill number six or, you know, which is helping your new distributor get started right. It's chapter nine of the book. If you don't have this book, look below. There's a link to be able to purchase it, get it, study it. Um, you know, as we go on over the time, I'm sure I'll be going through this several times with people just because it's such a powerful book. If, if there was one thing I could force people to do before they actually even enrolled in this company, I would say, go read the book and show me that you've read the book. You know, make sure because I don't want you to get into something that's not going to be worth your while. And if you read this book, it will be worth your while because you'll know exactly what you need to do and you won't be dependent on anybody else thinking about anything else because you'll know, oh my gosh, if I just put this energy and effort into my business rather than putting it into some job, I'm going to create so much more success here because this can grow. Okay. This can grow exponentially because maybe you talk to somebody down the street who knows somebody over in Texas, who knows somebody in California, who knows a big leader in Tennessee. And next thing you know, your business explodes. You can't do that in a job. You can't be working somewhere and say, oh, I've got this friend of mine in California that's looking to do some extra work. You got anything for him? They're like, is he coming in the office? You know, and they're not going to reward you for it. This is the one place that you can do stuff like this and you don't know who you know to be able to create the success and it's all going to go within your business because it's, it's, it's that seven degrees of separation. It's that idea that we all are connected and we all know somebody and so all you have to do is talk to somebody and get them started out right. So, um, Lindsay, you have anything you wanna add? Not really, I mean, you just, you really broke it down. Um, I will say that listening to this chapter and looking through everything, um, the first thing that kind of came to light was, wow, we really overcomplicate things. And if you just follow this simple step-by-step -step guide, it's going to help you as a business owner, instead of managing your organization, you are going to empower and create other business owners. And that's what you want. That's like the key to du duplication. So um, definitely, like he said, get the book, read it, reread it, um, take notes, and start to implement the things that you're learning because still someone like myself, who's got some experience, I still am learning new things every day. And I was like, wow, this is so simple, but so effective. And that's really what we always want to bring to the table, simple, but effective. So thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I wish, you know, there was a, there was a way that we could force people to have to do stuff like this before they got involved because it would, it would take away all the negativity of all the, the, the haters and naysayers with network marketing because all of those people have only experienced negative, negative negativity like that because they weren't properly trained. They weren't properly educated. They didn't do what they needed to do. They just thought, oh, I need to get in and sit back and collect a check. And it doesn't work like that. No business does. You know, you're not just going to show up at the office and get paid. You have to do work. And network marketing is no different than that. And so, but, you know, but again, you need the right training. You need the right tools to be able to go out there and create success. I don't care if you open a McDonald's, you need the tools, you need the employees, you need the training, you need to know the, how much time to spend on each little thing, because if you don't, you're going to go in there and screw everything up. So network marketing is no different than that. And this, this is, and this is why this is so important. It's because this is duplication. If you don't take the time to spend with every single person that you've personally sponsored to get them on the right track. You can, anybody that's listening to this, anybody that's watching this could go back through all of their organization and go back to each affiliate and go, you know what? I totally screwed up with you and I'm so sorry. I would love an opportunity to show you exactly what I can do differently to support you in building this business. And, and then you walk them through, you do the things that he talks about and you take them through that five step process. Somebody might go, holy shit, like that's what I was looking for. You didn't have it before because you just kind of threw me to the wolves. 
right? And if you did that and you got one person who actually went out there and started building and then they duplicated that, that's where the power comes in. It's that whole thing that I've heard Danny talk about so many times where, you know, you don't know how many, uh, uh, you can count the number of seeds in an apple, but you can't count the number of apples in a seed. And that's because that's duplication, that's growth, that's momentum. That's because, you know, you may, you may teach one person to how to build a business, but what happens if they go out and they create the success to be able to teach hundreds or thousands of people to do that and then next thing you know it blows up into something really big that's that's the beauty and that's the brilliance of network marketing every top leader out there that makes huge money in network marketing is a good effective trainer and they work with the people that they bring in they put up systems to be able to bring people in they they put systems in place so that they can duplicate and it's not all on their shoulders you know, that's why we have a lot of what we have is because I've been in the field. I've built the huge organizations. I know what it takes. And that's why we put together the automations, the, like the webinars on the weekends. We have eight different webinars to be able for people to attend because I know that timing is of the essence. You know, we've got the automated conference calls that are there and available for people because, you know what, not everybody can make a 12 o'clock call here on the East Coast because it's different times everywhere. And as we expand internationally, you know, when we start going into different places like overseas and Asia and places like that, that's going to create even more of that, that need. And we already have these things in place today. So if people aren't using them, I don't blame them. I blame the people that they're working with for not teaching them how to use or what to use or what's available and kind of giving them an idea of what they need to be able to do to build a business. So take it to heart. Take this chapter, read it but really go through it and try it step by step with your affiliates. Like I said, reach out to the ones that you've, you've sponsored in that have left or, you know, done whatever they're doing or they're not doing anything and just say, Hey, listen, I'm totally sorry. Take responsibility for it. It's not going to hurt anything. Like if I told you, if you took responsibility for this and it created an extra two to $3,000 a month income, would you do it? You'd probably be like, hell yeah, I'd do it. Then do it because you just don't know, you know, and you'll never know. But if you do do it and it doesn't happen, at least, you know, right. And, but if you do do it and it does happen, then you'll be like, I'm so glad I did this. But don't let that, that unknown of what if, what if I would have done this, eat at your mind every single day. Because I know a lot of you are going to go to sleep tonight. Before you close your eyes, you're going to think, what if? What if? What if I would have called that person, right? And you're going to be beating yourself up until you do it. So you might as well do it. And you can thank me later. So. That being said, I appreciate everybody. Uh, I'll get this uploaded and posted in the groups and uh, look forward to next week's chapter. And um, I'm, I'll let you know as soon as we have any news about the skincare and when it's coming out. Like I said, we've been working on all the marketing materials, so that's a big part of it. And, uh, and then we're just waiting for the product to be shipped and then we'll be good to go. So I'm really excited about it and we'll be putting together a call uh, with our product developer and you know introducing her and putting a lot of really great information out there. And so uh, I'm really excited about that. And I'm looking forward to it. So with that, this is Calvin Starr and I'm living to be inspired and unleashed. And Lindsay is muted, living to be muted. <laughs> I am living to be inspired and unleashed with all of these amazing resources. So thank you. All right. Thanks, Lindsay. Thanks everybody. Have a great day. Bye guys. Evening.